Hello everyone, topic for today's video is an interesting structure present inside enamel. Enamel which is the outermost layer of the tooth is made up of enamel rods within which we have hydroxyapatite crystals. But when we look at this enamel under the microscope, we can see a structure which looks like this. What do you think? What appearance is this? Let's have a closer look. So these structures are present inside enamel but they are coming from below. So they are crossing the junction between dentine and enamel that is dentino enamel junction and they are going into enamel. And if you look at their shape where they are ending in enamel, their end is thickened like this. So they are looking similar to what is called a spindle. So under the microscope these dark structures, spindle shaped structures crossing dentino enamel junction going into enamel are known as enamel spindles. And that is the topic for today's video. Now let me tell you an interesting fact about these spindles. These spindles start forming before the enamel formation has begun. Yes, these spindles are present in enamel but they are forming before enamel has formed. How is that possible? Curious to know the answer. So you will get your answer. Also you will get to know how to write for your exam if you get enamel spindles as a short note for your theory exam. What can be the viva questions? What can be the entrance questions? And all this will be done in an easy and interesting way. That too quickly with all the details from all the important textbooks of dental histology. Also, also, also you will get a quick summary of this topic at the end of this video. So, so, so you are getting everything at one place that is Dentozen. So don't forget to subscribe to Dentozen and also tap on the like button below to like this video. So keep watching. Now enamel spindles can come as a part of your long question when you are asked about the structure of enamel in detail where you have to describe all these microscopic structures. Don't get scared by long list. We have already covered many of these structures in interesting videos. So you can watch those videos. In today's video, we'll talk about enamel spindles. So here, for enamel spindles, there can be three questions. Either it can be long question when you are asked about the structure of enamel, then also you have to include enamel spindles. Or your second long question can be when you are asked about the hypocalcified structures of enamel. That is very important question and which is repeated so many times. So this, this question, if you get again, you have to include enamel spindles along with enamel tufts and enamel lamellae. Or third can be just a short short note on enamel spindle. So three questions and for all of them you will get your answer in today's video. So let's begin. First we'll understand and then we'll see how to write for your exam. But why are we looking at the picture of tooth with enamel and dentine? Actually we need to go to a stage before heart tissues have formed, before enamel and dentine have formed and that happens at the bell stage of tooth development. So we are going to bell stage of tooth development and if you remember here the enamel organ looks like a bell shaped structure in which there are inner enamel epithelial cells which will then differentiate into ameloblast cell and will form enamel. Below that we have dental papilla cells which have differentiated into odontoblast cells which will form dentine. So these odontoblast cells they have a process like this. They have an extension. These processes are called odontoblastic processes. Remember that. Now these odontoblastic processes at this stage when they are developing, they will keep moving, moving, moving and they will cross into the cells of enamel organ. Yes, from here they have moved and they have crossed into the cells of inner enamel epithelium. They will come to lie between these cells. What will happen now? Now these cells will transform into ameloblast cells and will form enamel around them. So around these odontoblastic processes, there is formation of enamel. So what has happened here? These odontoblastic processes got trapped inside the enamel. Enamel ke andar first gai. And when enamel and dentine formation will keep on continuing, so these processes will keep lying there like that. And when we see them under the microscope in an erupted tooth, the ground section of that tooth, so we will see them as dark structures, spindle shaped structures as we can see here and these are known as enamel spindles. So, 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 so you have got your answer how they are forming before heart tissue formation and where are they coming from? They are coming from the odontoblastic processes which are processes of odontoblast cells and thus the enamel spindles are ectomesenchymal in origin. Remember that. Now these enamel spindles along with the other two structures that is enamel lamellae, leaf shaped structures and enamel tufts which looks like graft are considered hypocalcified structures of enamel because they have less mineral content and that is your important exam question. Now let's see how to write for your exam. But before we proceed, 
do subscribe to Dendos. And if you have not done that till now, also hit on the bell icon so that you may be notified about new such interesting videos. Now let's see how to write for exam. First, you will introduce the topic. You will write what are enamel spindles. You know that they are odontoblastic processes that have passed across dentino enamel junction and now they have come into enamel when has this happened before enamel has formed so before hard substances are formed now if we look at their shape their ends are thickened and looks like a spindle that is why we are calling them enamel spindles. So that can be your viva question because they are thickened at end. That is why they are termed enamel spindles. Now their origin because they are forming from odontoblast cells which are ectomesenchymal in origin. So these enamel spindles are ectomesenchymal in origin. Remember that very very important entrance question which can be asked like this. Which of the following structures is not ectodermal in origin? That means which of the following structures is coming from ectomesin kind so your options can be hunter sugar bands enamel spindles enamel tufts and enamel lamellae so you know the answer other three structures are from enamel ectodermal whereas it is enamel spindles which are coming from the odontoblastic processes which are ectomesin chimal in origin so your answer is enamel spindles so that is the introduction where you have to write these points now we see location and shape of these enamel spindles now these enamel spindles when seen under ground section are mostly seen in the cusp region remember that so when we draw the diagram first we'll draw the enamel rods like this below that we have dentinal tubules and in the cusp tip region we have drawn these spindle shaped structures so now do the labeling enamel dentine dentine enamel junction and these spindle shaped structures dark structures are enamel spindles so they are going from dentine enamel junction into enamel as you can see here their length can be variable it can be up to 25 microns and their shape they are thickened at end so they resemble spindles or they can be it is also called club shaped structures again that can be important by our question and they are dark they are dark and it is also sometimes called to be comma shaped structures looking like a comma so that can be your entrance question so that is location and shape now we have to talk about direction of enamel spindles now two things first we have to tell their direction with respect to dentine and second with respect to enamel so when these structures are forming from the processes of odontoblast cell these are odontoblast cell they have processes which are going into in between cells of enamel epithelium which will they lay down enamel rods so here we can see that these odontoblastic processes they lie perpendicular to dentine so this is dentine which has been formed by odontoblast cell and these processes thus they lie perpendicular to dentine and also they are in the direction of ameloblast cells which will form enamel. Now these ameloblast cell they form enamel at an angle. So these enamel rods are formed at an angle to the axis of ameloblast. So with respect to dentine they are perpendicular and with respect to enamel rods if you can see here these are enamel rods or enamel. So what is the direction this, these, this is enamel spindle. So this direction is like this. Now this is called divergent. That means they are going in different directions from the same point. So with respect to enamel rods, these enamel spindles are divergent. So those two things you have to mention here. First, their direction corresponds to original direction of ameloblast. That is, they lie perpendicular to dentino enamel junction or dentine surface. And when it comes to enamel, because enamel is formed at an angle to the axis of ameloblast, so these enamel spindles, the direction of enamel spindles is divergent to enamel rods. So direction of enamel spindles and enamel rods is divergent. So that is how they appear in the diagram as well as you can see these are the enamel spindles and this is the direction of enamel rods so you can say that they are divergent now we have to talk about the formation of enamel spindles we have already seen how do they form they are forming from developing odontoblastic processes during the to, before heart tissues have formed so these developing odontoblastic processes they extend into the ameloblast layer that is cells of inner enamel epithelium like this cells of enamel organ and around them enamel will be formed enamel forms around these odontoblastic processes and then they get trapped inside the enamel and they leave a space which will leave a tubular space there and this space which is containing these odontoblastic processes when we prepare a ground section and it is seen under microscope organic content that is odontoblastic process disintegrates and in place of that 
air gets filled so that air appears as dark in transmitted light so that can be your important viva question that why they appear dark because the organic content disintegrates and in place of that air comes which appears dark so that is the formation of these enamel spindles so now we'll see how do they appear under electron microscope so under transmission electron microscope they appear as channels of, of about two microns diameter like this and they contain small needle like crystals as you have seen here so these are crystals so they may be present inside channels and they may have length of 70 nanometers and width of nanometer 5 nanometers there may be also be presence of some granular or amorphous material as you can see here which may also be present so don't you think they are looking similar to enamel tufts Yes, they are looking similar to enamel tufts under microscope. So we can say that they are also hypomineralized or partially mineralized like enamel tufts. So these enamel spindles along with tufts and lamellae are hypocalcified structures of enamel or hypomineralized structures of enamel that you have to remember. Now we come to the summary of enamel spindles. So what are they? They are odontoplastic processes. Where have they come from? They have crossed dentino enamel junction, passed across dentino enamel junction into enamel and when before the hard substances are formed. And and what is their origin? They are ectomies and gymel in origin. Their length is about 25 microns. And when we are drawing the diagram, you can use this diagram for your answer. They mainly lie in the cusp tip region. Second thing, their direction is perpendicular to dendino enamel junction. And third thing, they are, their appearance, they appear as dark structures, spindle shaped or club shaped structures. Sometimes they are called to be comma shaped structures and why they appear dark because in the ground section the space gets filled with air and this air appears as dark in transmitted light under transmission electron microscopy they appear as channels containing needle like crystals or amorphous or granular substance and along with tufts and lamellae these enamel spindles are hypomineralized structures of enamel so that is the quick summary of enamel spindles let's check what have you learned Enamel spindles are, they are coming from processes of which cells? Second question, they pass across from where into where? And then their shape is similar to what? They are called what shaped structures? And they are mainly seen in which regions of the teeth? And they are what type of calcified structures? Hyper or hypo? So that is all for this video. If you really enjoyed the video, do tap on the like button, share video with your friends. Keep watching, keep smiling. And good luck for your exams. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.